Let us now understand small intestine. Small intestine, it is a very long tube. You must have seen pipes at your homes. So, it is also like that only. It is very long tube. It is about 7.5 meter long. Now, since it is a very narrow tube, the pipes which are used for taps, you must have seen. So, it is like that narrow tube. So, because of this narrowness, it is called as small intestine. Now, what happens here? All the digestive juices comes from different glands. We have read about pancreas, we have read about liver. The, uh, the juices secreted over there comes here in the small intestine for the digestion, complete digestion of food. Now, from liver, what uh, digestive juice it secretes? It secretes bile juice. Liver secretes bile juice. This is important. Liver secretes bile juice, but it is temporarily stored in gallbladder. It is temporarily stored in gallbladder, but it is secreted by liver. Now, what this bile juice does is it breaks down fat molecules. It breaks down fat molecules. Now, next is pancreas. It secretes pancreatic juices and these pancreatic juices breaks down the fats completely. Here, it breaks down fat molecules, but not completely. But pancreatic juice breaks down the fats completely into fatty acids. It also breaks starch and proteins. Now, this uh, in the small intestine, the uh, food gets digested and it becomes a water-soluble uh, form. <clears throat> so, now it uh, has converted into water-soluble form. So, now it can be absorbed. Now, how it gets absorbed? The small intestine has finger-like projections which are called as villi. These villi helps in the absorption of the nutrients from this water-soluble form of food and the inner lining of the small intestine, it also uh, absorbs the nutrients. As I said, it is a narrow tube, so, so, uh, so to increase the surface area for in absorption, along with the uh, inner lining of the intestine, villi, which are the hair-like structures, they help in more absorptions of nutrients from the food. Now, this is all about small intestine. Now, everything, every food uh, particle has been uh, broken down and the nutrients has been absorbed. These uh, nutrients absorbed by the in, uh, inner lining of in small intestine as well as through villi goes directly into the blood streams. And the rest food which remains undigested goes from here to the large intestine. In the large intestine, what happens? The undigested food come, which came from the small intestine, uh, from that food, the water is absorbed. So, water gets absorbed here in the large intestine and what is left behind is a semi-solid form of food which is temporarily stored in the rectum until we pass it. So, uh, this uh, undigested semi-solid food is known as feces and when we go to freshen up in the morning, we pass out the uh, undigested food that is feces through anus. So, this is all about human digestive system. Now, let us see the human digestive system through a diagram. So here is the diagram you can see this is our digestive system. So as we have already learned about the different organs of our digestive system, the alimentary canal you can see here this is the alimentary canal shown over here and these are the associated glands. So let us start with the mouth. This is the mouth from where we intake the food. These are the salivary glands which provide, which secretes the saliva useful for the digestion of a starch in the mouth itself. 
Then this pipe-like structure you can see, this is the food pipe or you can say the esophagus. This passes food from mouth to the stomach. Now here is the stomach. It has a lining inside it which is called mucus which prevents the stomach from the HCL produced inside this stomach. And here the food gets digested. The food remains here for at least 3 hours. Now here you can see after stomach, it goes to the small intestine. This yellow color portion you can see, this is the small intestine. As you can see, it is a tube-like structure but narrow. And this large intestine, it is a broader tube. So here in the small intestine, the food completely gets digested. From the small intestine, uh, the food goes to the larger intestine. In the small intestine, it has a hair-like structure which, which are called villi which absorbs the food. Now when it comes to the large intestine after absorption, in large intestine only the water is left with the undigested food. So the large intestine absorbs the water as well. Now here after absorbing water, the uh, undigested food uh, comes in a form of semi-solid paste. Now this is stored in this rectum, the last part of the alimentary canal uh, and as we uh, go for uh, freshen up, it is passed through the part called anus. Now this is whole about the digestive system. Now uh, we can see inside our buccal cavity that is the mouth, we have teeth and tongue. So here I am going to explain about the tongue. Now as you can see different colors on the tongue, the pink color shows that here this portion is to taste sweet things. Whatever sweetness we feel in our tongue, that, uh, that is because of the taste buds present in that this particular area uh, which is depicted by the pink color. This tastes sweet. Now the green portion, it tastes sore. The blue portion, this is for tasting bitter uh, objects. Now, the front portion, as you can see, a bit yellowish and orange part. This whole part tastes salty. If you uh, want to taste so some salt, the saltiness you will feel over here. And the su sweetness of sugar you can feel over here. The lemon, you can feel the soreness of lemon over this part. This, that is green color. And if you want to feel anything bitter, you can feel it over the last part of the tongue. This depicted by the blue color. Now let us uh, have a look on the teeth structure as well. So we have in total 32 teeth in our mouth. Now this, in this you can see the front four teeth of uh, our jaw, which are on our jaw. These are called incisors. These, uh, these are the biting teeth. Now, uh, besides these, one canine this side and one canine this side. That means in total, two canines in our lower jaw. We are, I am talking about only the lower jaw of our mouth. So, uh, two canines in our lower jaw. Uh, and these canines are for tearing. Next comes the premolar. Two premolars here and then two premolars here. And at the last, we have three molars this side and three molars this side. So we have total four kinds of teeth, incisor, canine, premolar and molar. The grinding and chewing uh, teeth. Premolar for chewing and the molar for grinding. So we have discussed about teeth as well. So here we have completed our human digestive system. I hope you have understood it. Thank you.